What you just lived through was a drill, a live fire drill for the collapse of the internet as we know it. And almost every single one of you failed. When AWS flickered, the world went dark. Not just your Netflix, but your bank, your government, and your communication. Billions of dollars gone in an instant. And the scariest part, this was not a hack. This was a simple mechanical failure in the heart of a digital monopoly, and it will happen over and over again. But what if I told you there is a protocol, a digital life raft that not only survives these blackouts, but renders them obsolete. Stick with me for around 13 minutes or so today, because I'm going to expose the single biggest vulnerability in the global economy and show you the one project that's building the antidote. This isn't just an investment opportunity. This is a survival strategy. Welcome to the channel. It's me, Domenico. And if you're watching this, you're likely invested in the future tech, crypto, and the markets. But today, I need you to ask yourself one question. How much of your wealth and your business is built on a foundation of sand? Let's break down what really happened during that outage. It wasn't a solar flare. It wasn't a cyber war. It was one company in one data center in one region of the United States, US East One. And it triggered a digital dominion effect that brought down Snapchat, Coinbase, the UK's tax service, and even PlayStation. This is the dirty secret of the cloud. It's not some magical distributed entity. It's a centralized rental system. You're basically renting service space from Amazon, web services, Google Cloud, Microsoft Azure. And when the landlord has a problem like it did the other day, every single tenant gets evicted simultaneously. This is the systemic risk that no one on Wall Street is pricing in. This is a single point of failure that could wipe out your portfolio overnight if the wrong service goes down during a critical trade. But today, we talk about the fix. Let me paint you a picture. It's a regular Monday. You're about to close a deal, make a trade, or just log into your favorite game, and you open app error 503. You try another, connection failed. You check the news, global internet outage. What the fuck? Panic starts to set in. Is it your Wi-Fi, your phone? You check social media and you can't. For a few hours, it feels like the digital world just stopped. Now imagine that wasn't for a few hours. Imagine it was for a day, a week. What would happen to the stock market, to global commerce, to crypto exchanges? This was a wake-up call, a $300 billion wake-up call. And not only that, from this incident that happened, the amount of cybercrime that's going to happen through phishing emails, through phishing attacks, it's going to make cyber go even more parabolic than what it is. It's exposed the fragility of our centralized web system. Basically, we built skyscrapers on quicksand. And the three giants, Amazon Web Services, Google, and Microsoft, they are that quicksand. But while everyone was panicking the other day, there is a small group of engineers in the crypto space who are nodding their heads. Not because they were happy, but because they have been building this solution for years and they saw this coming a mile away. So what is that solution? It's not just backing up to another cloud. That's like moving from one earthquake zone to another. No, no, no. The solution is a fundamental rewrite of the internet's infrastructure and it's called ICP, Internet Computer Protocol, which is a decentralized compute protocol. This project, in my deep due diligence, is not just talking about it. They are engineering the kill switch to cloud dependence. Let's get technical, but let's keep it simple. Okay, the old world, the cloud castle. Your data lives in a single giant castle, Amazon Web Services. Thick walls, one king. But if the drawbridge breaks, no one gets in or out. Single point of failure. The new world. The digital hive mind, your data and apps, live across thousands of independent specialized nodes all over the world. There is no castle. There is no single drawbridge. It's a hive. If one node goes down, the network doesn't even blink. It's self-healing. Now, here's the breakthrough that changes absolutely everything. 
This decentralized network is now forging an alliance with the old world. And I've been starting the updates from the core team. And the next move is a geopolitical level masterstroke. They're not just building their own hive. They are planning to absorb the cloud castles into the hive. Imagine this network running seamlessly across Amazon Web Services, Google Cloud and Azure, and its own dedicated decentralized hardware. But what does that mean for you and me? It means unbreakable resilience. A service wouldn't just be hosted on AWS, it would be fragmented and replicated across AWS, Google Cloud, and a thousand independent nodes simultaneously. To take it down, you have to take down all of them at the same time. And mathematically, it is impossible. So this is about creating a digital immune system. When one part gets sick, the rest of the body compensates and fights back. This is the level of security and reliability we need for the next trillion dollars of the digital economy, especially when we're talking about tokenization, real world assets. We're talking trillions are going to come on board online. Okay, enough theory. But what do we do? Whether you're a founder, developer, or an investor, you need a digital blackout protocol right now. Step one, the autopsy. Map your critical dependencies. Does your business, your portfolio, your life run through a single cloud provider? If the answer is yes, you're one flickering light bulb in Virginia away from disaster. Step two, diversify your infrastructure like you diversified your portfolio. You wouldn't put all your money in one stock. Why put all your data on one cloud? The future is hybrid. It's going to be a mix of traditional cloud and decentralized protocols. This is your hedge. And step three, get ahead of the curve. The institutions are already looking at this. The smart money is flowing into foundational layer one protocols that solve existential problems. You need to be researching the projects building the decentralized web right now. The ones with live working techs, just like ICP, which is the only solution to this problem, because it is the world computer. Because in my research, there is only one project that stands out for its ambitious approach to fix this exact problem. And it's the only solution to be able to fix this exact problem. And it's definitely Internet Computer ICP. And according to the chief scientist, Dominic Williams, they are on the verge of a breakthrough to extend their network to also run on major cloud providers like AWS and Google Cloud, as well as dedicated hardware. Let me be clear about why this is an absolute game changer. They're not just using the cloud. They're aiming to subsume it into a decentralized system. They're working to make that massive centralized compute capacity secure, reliable, and resilient by weaving it into the decentralized fabric. This is the ultimate, if you can't beat them, absorb them strategy. And it's kind of a forward thinking infrastructure play that gets me excited. Step four, pressure your test stack. As your service providers, what is your fallback if AWS goes down for 24 hours, like it did today, like yesterday? You know, next time it's going to go down for longer. It's going to have more critical points of failure. If they don't have a good answer, they are a liability, and they definitely are. This isn't just a tech upgrade. This is a fundamental risk management strategy for the 21st strategy that we're living in. The AWS outage wasn't the end of the world. It was the first day of the new one. It was a moment the entire planet subconsciously realized that the current system is broken and the world is definitely waking up to it. And when there's a broken system, there is an unimaginable opportunity for the people who build the fix. We are at the frontier of the next internet. This is bigger than Web 2. This is the genesis of Web 3, a web that is owned by its users, controlled by no single entity, and resilient by its very design. The infrastructure plays I look at, like Internet Computer Protocol, are not just crypto plays. They are infrastructure plays. They are the Cisco and Juniper networks of the decentralized age. And getting in early on the foundational layer of the next internet, that is an opportunity of a lifetime. So if this opened your eyes like it has to me, you need to do three things for me right now. Firstly, you need to smash that like button and let's get this video in front of every serious investor and builder. Two, subscribe to the channel. 
Shared this with a friend who's still stuck in the Web2 fraud. I drop ICP Alpha daily, so subscribe to not miss out my next videos. And three, comment below. What's the one service you couldn't live without if another outage hit? Let me know. Because the next outage isn't a matter of if, but when. The cloud giants have shown us their weakness. Now, it's our turn to show them the future. Don't just be a victim of the next digital blackout because it's just going to get worse and worse. Be one of the architects of the light and the future. That's why you need to build, invest, and prepare for the world that comes after. The choice is yours. Be smart, be safe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.